even amongst black people and amongst my own family members. So this notion of colorism that somehow the, the, the color of my, the tone of my blackness yes. uh, either prejudices me somehow or causes me to experience more negative things than other tones of mm. or shades of blackness, yeah. it disadvantages me somehow. Mm. So that when I'm entering conversations already, people might think that I don't have something intelligent to say because yes. I'm darker than other people. Yeah. Or um, because somebody determined that I was dark, that I don't have something to offer. Yeah relative to others yeah. in time. So I think that's that that's the, I that's what I remember and I think it's that the notion of prejudice because right. of the color of the shade of yes. my darkness. Yes. Forget that I'm black. No, black. Yeah, just in the context of blackness, yeah. that somehow my shade of darkness mm -hmm. is less valid somehow yes. than other shades yeah. of darkness. Yeah. Which is very sad and problematic for us as a as a as a people. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's 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 important to take note the the history of not only in Namibia but in terms of the world itself yeah. and you have to understand that for, for hundreds for some for some countries hundreds of years um, um, basically we have been the, the racism has been um, systematic yes it's absolutely um, yeah systematic within our society mm -hmm. and obviously if you look at maybe in, in, in the Namibian context we were segregated by not were segregated by our 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 race and our ethnic groups, but obviously the lighter the lighter you are, obviously the more privileges you have. Yeah. Uh, if you look at it, maybe at a if you look at it from the West or in an American context, mm -hmm. which is which is the media that we have read the most, is that obviously they had this the, the history of slavery and with slavery, um, obviously the, 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 um, depending on the color of your skin, you have got certain jobs yeah. within the in the household so if you were lighter you were in the house you know what i mean so obviously yeah and if you were darker you were out in the field yeah, yeah. exactly so i think we have to understand that it's very systemic and i think we've all been conditioned over hundreds right. of years to, right. to 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 think and to think that the lighter you are um the better you are yeah. as a person so it really is systemic and it really is historical yes yeah. and and, and the, 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 the idea that somehow that 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 the lightness is proximal to whiteness. Yes. Yes. So the more white you are, or the, or the, closer, to the closer to white you represent, yeah. the more privilege you can access yeah. in yeah. society. Yeah. So colorism ultimately is a result or a result of racism. Of black women in the media space. What would you say, Salma, is the role of the media in perpetuating the misrepresentation of black women? Um, like, uh, well, let me just backtrack over and say, like I said, it's it's really historic. So, like, obviously, art is uh, Im uh, imitating yes. life, let's say. So, obviously, uh, the media that we've shown is what society actually makes it out to be. That, mm -hmm. that makes sense, everybody. But definitely, the media has played an immense, immense role in, 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 in perpetuating the stereotypes. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, I think for years on TV, well, especially maybe my age, you know, um, lighter skinned women, even lighter skinned black women were were seen as more intelligent, more beautiful, more charm, more you know, yeah. more calm, you know, while yeah. Black, yeah. darker women, you know, um, were were just not represented well. And, and so the media I think it's also um the it's also the the, the responsibility of the media to try to reverse this this you know I mean I think it's gonna take a long time and I think we're getting there and we've obviously moved towards it but I think it takes really a conscious a conscious um for us to consciously get yeah. your intention to try and turn it around it. But the media is, is a key role because yeah. you see with the media that they have so it has so much influence. Uh, celebrity has so much influence. Um, what we see on Instagram and Facebook has so much influence. Mm -hmm. So these are platforms that we have to use to try and change the notion of right. how black women, especially dark skinned women, um, come across. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I think maybe just to add to that as well is the the responsibility that the media has. I think something that comes to mind for me is always this um, the, the, the freedom to you would know best, like the media's freedom to share yes. information, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, but I think at the same time, that freedom isn't always fairly balanced right. with what is actually a fair representation right. of the diversity of blackness amongst right. women. 
and it's also not always accurate because um, you see in many instances where you know my question would be how is it that this whatever the media has the outlet decided mm-hmm. that that was the image that was going to go out on that particular day right. so someone some behind the scenes somewhere must have okay that image yes so it's not just the output that we see yeah but the whole process yes, exactly. of that image you know the people yes who are constructing the image or creating the image mm-hmm. i think it goes so i think the opportunity for us right now is just to 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 try and present ourselves in the way that we want to be in the way that we are in the way that we present want to be represented and i think um it's so easy to it's, it's very difficult because you know it's so easy to put women in general women in a box and then mm-hmm. black women in a box so, you know, um so it's up to us to really just just represent who we are as people and yes. who we are as black people and and and, and yeah i think that's what, what i would yeah. say yeah. well i think no definitely i mean you know when we were growing up we didn't see representation yeah of black women on on tv first of all the media wasn't ours to control exactly. so <laughs> um and 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 even if it was the, the opportunities were very far and and, and, and limited mm-hmm. but now there you can see it it's, it's very great internationally yes. there are many advocates for women in the media locally there are many advocates for women in the media um and i think that i used to work uh, for sister namibia at some point we used to put out a well sister namibia still does it's a it's a magazine that is advocacy for um women's rights reproductive health and rights equality empowerment um sexuality diversity all of the things yeah. but and and i could and i know that there was an opportunity for women to be in charge of the things that they wanted represented the things that mattered the needs that they had where they were and so i think if more opportunities can be created where women take ownership take leadership in directing the, the issues that are presented in the media yeah. and i think it's, it's it's so much easier so i think maybe such as